So dad and I are out on Buffalo Bill Reservoir today. We're gonna see if we can get on the ice. Dad doesn't think it looks very well. Of course, we forgot the spud bar. Um, but we're gonna wander down there. It looks like open water on the shore there, but we'll wander down and see what we see. I'm gonna bail down there real quick. I think that's about gonna be it. Yeah, I think so. All right. All right thanks, Dad. So yeah, we'll give that a shot. Go we'll drill some holes. I use dad as a fish finder. Usually works quite well. Fit on the ice so it got a lot better connection. Oh, I'm marking fish, I think. We might have to drill us a hole and try this. Sometimes I'll just fish on bottom here at Buffalo Bill, and then a lot of times you'll see on the fish finder fish suspended, and you reel up to them and catch them. And that's, that's a blast. That's where fish finders really shine, is a reservoir like this. Because those fish, normally you wouldn't catch them without a finder. If you're fishing on bottom and fish come above you, you'd never know it. Okay, so I just had one cruise in at 35 feet. I'm reeling up to him. He's still there. Let's see if we can get him. Oh yeah, he's a good signal. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, buddy. Okay, now he's off the chart. Oh, there he is, there he is. Watch the rock. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Good deal. That's right there. That's what I'm talking about, fish finders. Hey, Dad! Woo! Ah, I think I lost him. Ah, I lost him. Darn it. We'll keep jigging in that area. There he is. Oh, fish. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come back. These little hooks might be causing me trouble. There he is. Oh, I gotta set that drag a little tighter. Let's set that hook. Caught him three times. Oh boy, he might be. Might be a Laker. I'll be darned. A suspended Laker. That's good news. That's, That's a lake trout, Dad. Suspended. Nice. <laughs> That's a good sign for things to come. We got him on that new lure. Good deal. <laughs> That's my favorite fish to catch on this reservoir. The, the rainbows will strip you out pretty good. Those lakers are so fun. So aggressive. <laughs> we didn't get a skunk. I took the ugliest lure from yesterday that I made and uh, tied it on. And that's what we got it on. No problemo. So he just moved to this second hole out from the shore. And uh, with that crew fish of mine cruising at 35 feet, I told him to get back a little deeper. This one's about 40 feet. Dad's into the rainbows. <laughs> well, they're good fish up here. Did he smack it? 
He smacked it hard. So yeah. this is a good day. We did good. <laughs> Some days, you know, they'll just nibble at you. Well, Beautiful. 18 inches. Yeah, you'll put him back, won't yeah. you? Pretty fish, though. Well, good job, Dad. <laughs> Nobody got skunked today. There you go. Oh yeah, this is a that's a clam jig. Kind of looks like your old jalapeno. Uh -huh. Can't remember what they're called. But. Anyways, well, good job. <laughs> nice work. Yeah. Oh, that's a sticky yeah, hook. We didn't get skunked today. No, I got my Laker. You got your rainbow. Yeah. Just like we like. Yeah. Do it again. I'll come join you. He won't leave that hole the rest of the day, if I know my dad. <laughs> Once he catches a fish, he's loyal to the hole. We got a fish looking at it. He was looking at it, there he is. So he was looking at it. I just glanced at my finder real quick and saw him heading up to the lure. See if we can keep him on. Hey! See if he's another lake or this will be interesting to me. Let's see if he's a lake trout. Nope, he looks like a cutthroat. Oh, a nice cutthroat. Yellowstone cutthroat. These guys come right in. They live in here and in the springtime they go up into the park to spawn. Boy, he's he's uh not wanting to get out of the water. Oh, he's an agony. Hey, he's a nice cutty. They're liking that new jig. That's your new one that you just Yeah, I just did that last night. He's a cutty, isn't he? Yeah, he's a cutty. Yeah, he's a cutty. So yeah, that's a Yellowstone cutthroat. Born and bred in Wyoming. There we go. So dad got him another one. We'll go check it out. He's fishing with a noodle rod today. Makes it even more fun for him. Look at that rod. Woo, he got that noodle rod, man. Hey, that's a nice fish. See if I can get him to the hole, huh? Come on. Good deal. Nice job. Yeah, that's a nice fat rainbow. What do you say, three pounds probably? Yeah. Three and a half anyways. Eh, nice one. Good job, Dad. <laughs> there you go. Right. Keep doing this, you're gonna have company. Oh boy. Nice pretty rainbow. Ha 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 ha. Nice job. Well he's a big one. Yeah, nice. He wants to fight you. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he's a big fish. Yeah. Nice one if he can get him. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to start drilling bigger holes. <laughs> yeah, he's a football. That's a football there. That's what we like about this reservoir. They're just nice fish. Yeah, yeah I should have stayed with that all morning. <laughs> I was just going to set this rod down as a dead stick. As soon as I dropped it, we had a fish coming through. He's a, I want him to throw my lure. Oh. Boy, this is a lot of fish for a little rod. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Lots of fish for little rods, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. It's I nice, think, man. I think he gave up. Yeah. We ought to measure him. Yeah, he's a big boy. 
I think I got a measure on the side of my sled. It's got to be two feet. Yeah, uh, 20 anyways. If I can get him unhooked, he wanted it back. Alright. Yeah. Nice little rainbow. He took a little tungsten. Simple little ball. He's right at 21. 21, huh? Yeah. That's a fisherman. Yeah. So pretty much 20. Well, you're supposed to collapse the tail to measure them. That's right. So that's gonna add at least three inches. Yes. He's a fighter, huh? Yeah, this one's a fighter. Oh man, he's a Hulk. Nice fish, Dad. <laughs> Good deal. We got the master working his magic. <laughs> Wind on Buffalo Bill. There you go. Buddy. <laughs> oh, he's a nice one. Right? Wow. Good job, Dad. Nice catch. <laughs> there we go. Got him, Dad. <laughs> Woo! He wanted to go, go, go. Yesterday. So I wanted to document some of this milky ice. Uh, you got to be real careful, especially on this reservoir in particular. Whenever I see this milky ice, I stay a little clear from it. Um, underneath, in the at the ground, there's methane pockets. We are right next to Yellowstone National Park. So a lot of the lakes around here, you gotta watch out for methane. And there's plenty of places on this lake where it never freezes. And you can always see the uh, open water. You actually see bubbles coming up out of it. But uh, a few years ago, I was riding my four-wheeler around here and it was good, good ice. And there was actually open spots all over the reservoir. You had to be really mindful and watchful of that. What we're gonna call it today and uh, got into some fish so that was fun and uh, now we're gonna get off this ice before the edge gets rotten so dad already put his foot through right at the end so we figured we better get home back to the girls so thanks for watching have a good day Dad and I are going to head down to a spot we've got. It's a little protected cove here. And uh, I'm dragging him kicking and screaming in tennis shoes. Me too, so we'll see if we can't do something. Got him nervous. It's at least two inches, Dad.
there's one of those methane pockets I was talking about. You can see the bubbles shooting up in them. Quite a few bubbles actually. Hey Dad, a deer fell through this one. There's, really? there's hair everywhere. Mike, I'll bet that's what happened. These probably got knocked in by animals. There's probably some dead deer underneath the ice. Quite a few bubbles there. This one's got hair right by the the hole if you can see that.